America's favorite pastime, where it's root, root, root for our home team, the IUP Crimson Hawks. IUP's baseball program began in 1933. Since its formation, the team has won five PSAC championships, three PSAC West championships, and has appeared twice in the NCAA tournament. Over the years, the baseball program has been a stepping stone for players to advance their athletic careers. Jordan DeLuca of the Pittsburgh Pirates, Kevin McMullen of the New York Yankees, Paul Bingham of the San Diego Padres, and Ryan Yole of the Seattle Mariners are just some of the former IUP baseball players to be drafted into the major league. Through hard work and dedication, the team continues its legacy to this day. This year, the team features players such as captain and pitcher infielder Dan Sepik, catcher Matt Aparesi, right-handed pitcher Mike Klingingsmith, and center fielder Chris Isel, just to name a few. Each of them have their own methods that help them get into the zone and perform better on the field. Besides our stretching and everything, I just while we're doing the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, I just kind of put my head down and try to get myself focused for the game. That's really when I lock in is when we do the national anthem and then I'm set for the day. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's just try to relax, have fun, go through BP, and try to feel good. I've been wearing the same belt since my freshman year. Uh, on home games, I like to come up early and hit in the cages. And we also hit on the field as a team. So one of my other teammates and I, Wes Carson, we come up early and hit. Just get some extra reps and it makes us feel better. Uh, my pregame rituals, I just like to make sure that I have like a, a resistance band that I use to kind of engage my hips because a lot of times I feel like uh, before I come to the field, my hips are kind of uh, they're kind of tight. So whenever I use a band around my knees and around my hips, it makes it feel like they, uh, they're loose and then I'm able to uh, run faster. And uh, it translates to all aspects of the game. Being part of the Crimson Hawks certainly has its perks, but being a student athlete is no easy task. As a player, one has to learn how to overcome obstacles. I think uh, I think most of the teammates would agree that one of the biggest struggles is probably time. Just because after practice, you're doing physical things, so you get tired. And it's a little tough sometimes to bear down and do, you know, get the schoolwork done when you need to. The struggles as a student athlete that every athlete faces is definitely um, time fluctuation between classes and baseball. But if you're dedicated like any athlete is, especially a collegiate athlete, you made it this far, you've dealt with struggles and you've overcome obstacles before. If you get your work done, then you'll be successful both on and off the field. A strong team begins with great leadership. This year, IEP alumni and former player Anthony Rabbi Rabansky has taken over as head coach for IEP. As a new coach, he has to gain acceptance from the community and the players, but must also oversee the progress of the team. I got into coaching uh, actually when I was, I think it was a junior or a senior here. Uh, I coached a rec league team, 13, 14 year olds. Uh, for a summer, which was it was interesting, needless to say, but very fun. And afterwards, uh, after playing, I was uh, in my fifth year here, so I was actually a communications major as well. And I was a radio broadcaster for the IEP baseball team for that, uh, that spring. And after that spring, I was still obviously playing pro ball. And Coach Ditch at the time approached me and asked me if I wanted to get into coaching and 10, 11 years later, here I am. My opinion is going to be a little bit biased because of being an alum from IUP and being a former student athlete here in baseball. But our the support from the community has, is great and is getting better, at least I've noticed in the last several months. The support from the student the student body here, you know, you can see it from home games. There's been a lot of, of people coming up to the games and watch us play this spring. It's something else that's going to take a little bit of time to, to try to find our true identity. Uh, but I do think that you know, with the with the new energy level that is here, uh, with with the passion that these guys have shown 
uh, in the last you know, nine, eight, nine months. Uh, I think our identity now is, is, you know, that we're hungry. You know, IUP is labeled as that sleeping giant, and, and I tell our guys all the time, you know, how are we going to uh, awake that sleeping giant? Coach Rubensky has been a positive influence on the players who appreciate his coaching techniques. My first impression was pretty much the same, like the same kind of coach that I've always grown up around. Hard nose, but uh, he knows uh, what he wants and he, he expects a lot out of you, which is definitely something that I always enjoyed because it makes you feel great whenever you do something good and it holds you accountable whenever you do something bad. So even though we try to limit that, it always, I always like the way that he goes after it on the field. Uh, so I got recruited by Coach Ditch, which is the previous coach, um, but uh, Rabbi was the assistant coach while I was getting recruited, so I, I had a little bit, I knew him a little bit, but uh, when he came in our, as our coach, I think most of the guys were hoping that he was our coach because we kind of knew him and we knew what kind of caliber guy he was. And He loves this program more than anybody, so I couldn't think of a better person to head the ship for this program, and I'm, I'm really excited and just disappointed that I have to leave after this year because I'd like to stay a little longer be part of something. He's a very, very high energetic guy and uh, I like that because I'm kind of high energetic and uh, I tell that he wanted to win and I love winning so it was a good vibe that we got a good coach and it just was all about winning and about waking the sleeping giant. It takes more than just being a great athlete to become a Crimson Hawk. The coach holds high standards for both on and off the field. Uh, a lot goes into it, you know, just as our student athletes that we currently have on roster here, you know, you're, the first thing we look at is academics, you know, are, are these guys going to come in and be academically sound in four years? You know, we want to have a, a high team GPA, we want to have retention within our program. You know, so academics is first and foremost, you know, we want them to get that degree when they are here. But it, it is difficult, you know, you want to make sure that, that you're able to prioritize what you're doing. Uh, and as I mentioned before, you know, academics comes first because if you're not eligible or, you know, you, you have below a 2-0, then you're not eligible to play. And if you're serious about baseball, you're going to keep above that 2-0. While the coach has many long and short-term goals, many players have personal goals they hope to reach. Um, short-term goals, as, as I, you know, would say, you know, everybody wants to win a national championship. So long-term goals go back to, you know, the, the desire to win a national championship as a head coach. Um, I, I think you need to start realistically. Go back to you know, winning your conference, winning the PSAC West first. Then you go into winning the PSAC tournament and becoming a, you know, the champion of our league first. Then you get into the North Atlantic region, then you go and win that. And you're, you're, you're just trying to get to the point where you're winning your, your league each year, your division, uh, winning a, a conference championship, and then you know, progressively getting in the region championship and the World Series, and hopefully a national championship. Definitely think, I mean, playoffs is our number one goal this year. But after that, I, you know, I want to come and support the team as much as I can past baseball and just uh, try to be a faithful alumni, try to uh, make it up as much as I can. I love these guys more than anything, so hopefully be able to make it up a lot and support these guys. Uh, as a player, I uh, want to keep on maybe getting my stats a little lower. Uh, keep on working hard and get my velocity up a little more. Uh, as a team, I want to make the playoffs. It's my third year here and we haven't made the playoffs yet, so I'm hoping that we can make the playoffs this year. As an individual, I just try and do my best. I mean, I'm a, I'm a team guy. I don't. I just try to hit the ball hard and throw strikes when I get on the mound. So there's not really goals for myself. I just try to do well and focus on the team. For me personally, my goals are just to go out there and play as hard as I can every game. Baseball is a game of failure, so you know, like they say, if you hit three out of every ten balls, you know, you're great. So I just try to go out there and uh, help my team as best as I possibly can, and uh, hopefully that uh, we can make it to the playoffs this year because. Uh, I think that we're able to do that. We're currently tied for second in the PSAC in our uh, conference, so I definitely think that's a goal that we can achieve if we just keep working hard at it. Off the field, players spend most of their time together like one big family. Whenever they're not at practice or playing games, they find ways to let off steam and support each other. They even make sure to set out time to give back to the community. The one main one, or actually there's two main ones that we've done in the past when I was here before. Uh, the uh, the Indie Kids Day over at the East Pike uh, Ice Rink is something that we've done, I guess that's in the arena. 
is something we've taken part of uh, when I was here before, I think every year that I was here. And I reached back out to them this fall whenever, or I guess late summer whenever I got hired here to make sure they were still doing it. Uh, and they were excited, I guess it hasn't been done in the last couple of years potentially. So they were excited that we were coming back and helping with that. And that, all that event is, it's a bunch of jump houses and Velcro walls that, you know, little kids come and they just, they spend time there and just play during the day. Um, and our guys love it too, you know, you, you get a little five-year-old that has a Velcro uh, suit on and you throw them up against the wall and let them hang there. The uh, United Way Pancake Day over at the at Indiana Regional Medical Center. And our guys go and they, they are servers, or table cleaners, dishwashers. You know, we send them over there for a couple hours, uh, you know, voluntarily and, and they help out with that. So that's been another event that we've done frequently in the past when I was here, so I'm glad to get back involved with them as well. You know, our team atmosphere is great. I think everybody on this team gets along really well and we all hang out. We all live together, you know, like a couple houses we live together and we hang out all the time. It's it's a great atmosphere and that's really what's made my college experience my favorite thing, you know. I've, I'm going to that's the biggest thing I'm going to miss is just the camaraderie with the guys. And we go eat together, we, you know, because we go to practice and we eat together, we hang out together, we go to study, I mean, you're always together, so. Uh, everybody gets along and everybody, we all you know, rag on each other. It's just a good time. On Sundays, we'll watch football together. We just eat dinners together, especially after practice. We'll just go to the uh, dining hall as a team, just hang out, just talk about practice, talk about class. Coach Rabbi, he sets up stuff for us to do, like team bonding. So that helped in the beginning of the season. So we would do like bowling or we did uh, disc golf one time, like frisbee golf. and. Um, that was real fun. So like after that, plus just spending time together, it builds camaraderie and um, it helps just build team morale and helps everyone get close. Why IEP? The decision to attend IEP as a student athlete was easy for many players to make. Well, when I was in high school, I came and visited and I was getting recruited by the coach and of all the universities that I went and visited, the, this campus was by far my favorite and it's like a, a pretty close to my home. So it was like the perfect amount of distance and the atmosphere and uh, the campus was really what attracted me. I loved it, the whole town. I decided to come here because it was kind of close to home. Uh, I didn't want to go three and a half hours away to another school. My parents could come see me anytime they wanted for baseball, and this school had my major that I wanted. I wanted to be a physical therapist, and I had pre physical therapy here, and it was a good fit for me. I love baseball. I love the campus here. Uh, and it's kind of like a D1 feel, even though it's a D2 school. It's a huge campus. You got so many friends. Uh, the teammates are great. Uh, I met the teammates in February before I came here, and uh, they were all cool and everything, and just made me want to be a part of the program here. IUP baseball has made a lot of progress this past year, but they still have much they hope to accomplish in the future.